It looks like the United States Supreme Court is set to overturn the federal right to abortion, a right that American women have had for half a century. Politico published a leaked draft opinion from the highest court yesterday. The opinion suggests overturning Roe v. Wade and allowing states to fully regulate abortion on the state level. This has abortion advocates worried here in the gem state. Andrew Bartline talked to Planned Parenthood today. They say the impacts of a ruling like the one in the draft opinion would be monumental, Andrew. Yeah, and to be clear, nothing has changed with abortion access right now. This draft opinion is just that. It's a draft opinion. Now, not an official Supreme Court ruling, but Planned Parenthood fears this draft could escalate to an official ruling and trigger restrictive abortion laws in several states, including here in Idaho. A leaked U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion shows interest in overturning Roe versus Wade. The case is a nearly 50-year court precedent that established a federal right to abortion. The draft says, quote, the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion. The authority to regulate abortion must be returned to the people and their elected representatives. Last night's leaked opinion makes it clear that our deepest fears are coming true. Specifically, Planned Parenthood fears what's colloquially known as the abortion trigger law. Idaho is one of 13 states that has an official law in the books prohibiting nearly all abortions. Exceptions exist for rape, incest, or to save the mother's life. The Idaho law states it only goes into effect when, quote, the issuance of the judgment in any decision of the United States Supreme Court that restores to the states their authority to prohibit abortion. Our right to abortion is being crushed right now, and we're on the front lines in Idaho. Planned Parenthood fears the leaked draft opinion will escalate to an official court ruling and trigger this restrictive Idaho law. But not all health care providers agree with Planned Parenthood. Stanton Healthcare welcomes the draft opinion and any official ruling that limits abortion accessibility. That there is support already in place and services and health care for women facing unexpected pregnancies if and when Roe v. Wade is overturned. Brandi Swindell founded Stanton in the Treasure Valley. She says Stanton is a life-affirming health care clinic providing women with cost-free health care through their unexpected pregnancy and ongoing health care for a minimum of 18 months after birth. I believe that women deserve better than abortion. But accessibility advocates like Planned Parenthood say the option for abortion is still necessary. If you need us, you can still come. Our doors are open. We are providing care in all six states across our affiliate. And we know that our work has never been more vital. Planned Parenthood says low income earners will be disproportionately impacted by any abortion restrictions because they don't have the resources to travel for an abortion if this ruling ultimately triggers that Idaho law. But Stanton says they have a mobile health care clinic that they can and do use to travel to rural and underserved communities. So. The debate just continues back and forth. Right, but Andrew, like you said, it's important to note this is a draft opinion, nothing on the books at the moment. We'll see what the Supreme Court does in the months to come. Andrew Bartline, thank you. Yeah, the ruling